Hello, my name is Miriam. Welcome to DT Beauty's channel. If you want to see how she achieved this look for me, then stay tuned and subscribe. Hi everyone, it's Dami here. Welcome back to my channel. So I have cleansed and toned the skin off camera and now I am priming her brows using Becca Ever Poreless Priming Perfector. And now I'm gonna fill in her brows using Rimmel's Pencil in Dark Brown. She's got beautiful eyebrows. I honestly really didn't need to do much. Now to tidy up, I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. Guys, throughout this tutorial, you will notice I'm a lot heavy handed with my products and that's because this is a full coverage foundation routine. And also I wanted you to know how I'm using the products and where I am applying them. I'm just blending everything out now using my beauty blender. I seek perfection guys, I'm going back in to make that eyebrow super super fleeky. As you do. So now I am priming the lids, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion in original. This eye look is not too difficult guys, I feel it's super achievable. Right now for transition colour I'm using Inglot's blush in Berry Brown. If you notice I've gone back in to set her under eye concealer because we're trying to avoid that oily look. Now back with Berry Brown, I'm just going back and forth with that shade. Now using a detailed brush, I'm using MAC um, eyeshadow in, I believe it's called Deep Dampson, and I'm using that to carve a line. And with a blending brush, I'm blending upwards. Now using NYX Jumbo Pencil, white jumbo pencil, I am making the line super defined. Once again, you could be a lot light handed with the product. The first eyeshadow I'm using right now is a pigment and it's by MAC and it is called Vanilla, so I'm filling that in very close to a teared up area. Now taking MAC pigment also, but this is called Tan, I'm filling in the inner part of her lid. So I'm just packing this on, on her lids. Now to blend in, blend it in, I'm going back and forth. I'll be going back and forth using vanilla and tan because I want both of them to blend in really well. So you can see my brush change. I'm going back and forth with vanilla and tan. And I'm going back in with Deep Dancing, which is the darker shade. And I'm just carving out the crease and I'm making it more defined. Now there I'm holding a sleek palette. I'm not sure what one, but it will be in the description, description box. I used a dark blue eyeshadow in the sleek palette to create a smoky effect. And now I'm just lining her lids and I'm using um, Maybelline's Last In Drama Eyeliner. Now I'm applying BTB's Lashes in Alter Ego. It's 
just to make that more defined I am going back in with the eyeliner so I noticed I haven't shared a lot of tips in this video but one tip you could go away with and this is especially for MUAs is try to avoid putting your hands on your client's head as much as you can so right now I'm going in with um, a glitter liner and this is by collection I got it from Superdrug which is like a UK drugstore so I love this because it just creates that extra glam effect to the cock crease look we're going for so guys not to worry if you make a mistake you could always go back with your eyeshadow and make sure that glitter line is straight and precise so I've done the other eye off camera and now I am I've also done her foundation and highlight contour off camera but I chose to set on camera because I didn't do this in my previous video so if you want to see my foundation routine as such check my previous video and I will also be doing a more detailed highlight and contour you know tutorial you know everything is coming soon guys so now I'm just baking and highlighting underneath the eyes underneath the contour you don't have to do this part you can absolutely skip but you know as I keep saying this is a you know full-on glam look now I'm just setting the area I contoured using mineralized skin finish in dark deepest now we're just baking, if I didn't mention earlier, I used Laura Mercier to set her face. Now I'm just smoking a bottom lash line using the Dempson. Guys, what I used on the lips will be in the description box below. The darker shade is by NYX and the inner shade is by MAC. So here's the final look. I hope you've enjoyed watching the tutorial. Thanks for sticking it out to the end guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Directly at the camera, yeah. so I'll count two seconds in your head, then look down for two seconds, then left and right. I'm gonna say.